Hi, my name is Anthony Pulvinelli from over at Bud Smale Mercedes-Benz in Greensburg. Wanted to show you an awesome new vehicle today. We finally got it. It's our 2018 S-Class. This is the all-new 2018 S450. I want to go over all of the great features inside and outside. Can't wait. Let's get started. Right off the bat, you notice several exterior changes to the S-Class for 2018. Yeah. Couple of model changes. We now have our S450, which is pictured here, as well as our S560, as well as several AMG variants. What's nice is now for 2018, Mercedes-Benz has changed the front grille to feature this dual split lamella design. Three louvers, all split open, just like on the old S65 V12 vehicles. That V12 grille is now yeah. featured on every S-Class model. A couple of other things that have changed. The air dam design on the bottom is all new, uh, featuring kind of the long, uh, elongated chrome stripping along the front. Um, just kind of kind of meant to invoke a little bit of a different style feature for the S-Class. Looks a little bit different than the front ends of any of our other vehicles. Uh, another really, really cool change, both functional and aesthetic, is the new headlamp design. This is the new Tri-Torch headlamp design. Features full LED technology, um, adaptive headlights and adaptive high beams. You never have to turn any of your lights on. Your daytime running lights are actually featured here in these three triple torch fiber optic and LED effect lights. Um, you also have active curve illumination, so your lights actually move. This fixture here will actually go around bends for you and adjust to the curves with your steering wheel. Coming around the side a little bit, we got some new wheel designs for 2018. Several really, really cool wheels featured. You got the surround view camera, which is really awesome. So in addition to having a uh, camera in the back, you have a front facing camera, which pops out. You have two side cameras on the car. Some really slick sort of side striping there along with the chrome. Even the back's different. So Mercedes wanted to feature its new Stardust Effect tail lamps, which you might recall from our E-Class. Um, however, sticking with sort of S-Class tradition, rather than have a dual torch effect light, triple torch effect tail lamp, just like the headlamp. So you can real quickly tell the S-Class from everything else by the three torches, both in front and on the back. And coming around once, I'm gonna pop the hood on this car. I want you to see what's changed under the hood. So going off of the model change, Mercedes has sort of given you a little more variety and a few more flavors for the S-Class for 2018. The first one being the all new S450, which is the car that we have pictured here. This features a new bi-turbo V6 motor. You got a three liter engine here, so it's gonna be more efficient than the outgoing 4.7 that was on the base 550 for last year. Features 362 horsepower and 369 pound-foot of torque. You might remember this is a similar type configuration to how our uh, how, how our, our AMG versions of this motor are. Very similar in terms of the performance of the car. Also, as well, on this particular vehicle, you have a, the new 9-speed, nine 9G nine Tronic transmission. So that's an all-new transmission for this automobile. And we feature several other motors as well. Yeah. So if you're still looking for the V8, good news. The Mercedes S-Class now has a 560. It's the new version of the 550, now features a four liter V8 instead of the 4.7, giving you actually a little more power than the outgoing model. There'll also be several AMG variants on the way. Let's take it for a ride. So this is it. This is the flagship Mercedes-Benz, the all new S-Class. So sort of sticking with the heritage. It's nice, it's big, it's roomy, um, gives you a ton of space. Um, gives you incredible sound isolation. Really all you're gonna hear when you're inside of an S-Class is what you wanna hear. We're here on a uh, busy highway. We have cars going past us and you don't hear a single one. Incredibly comfortable car. Um, you have just a ton of room. Uh, doesn't matter how tall you are. Doesn't matter how tall the folks are in the back seats. Just so much space in this cabin. Um, you have a nice real, real long seat which you can actually extend the overall length of the seat. Um, have this adjust electronically on both the driver and the passenger seat where not only can you adjust everything to the ideal position, but how long your bolster is as well. It's also a little bit of a wider platform. So what's nice is you just feel like you have a little bit of additional leg room, a little bit of additional shoulder room there as well. 
even the feel of the wheel, it just, it just, it's, it's just a great solid feel to it. So it's actually one of the uh, adjustments for 18 is we stuck with having still some really, really cool wheel designs, having some wood options, having some, some leather options. Uh, what's, what's great about this new wheel design is you have obviously the leather grips here, but you have some new controls on the center. So this was all new for 18, where one thing Mercedes changed right off the bat is removing the cruise control stock. So now there's no longer a third stock over here on the left side. It's now been moved to the left side of your steering wheel. So left side of your wheel will control everything from the instrument cluster screen as it had before, as well as being able to pull up, you know, nav and radio and stuff like that on this screen. But in addition, you'll notice some switches down here. Makes it real easy to set your cruise control. So anytime you're driving down the road and you just want to set a, a uh, you know, overall speed, you can do so. You have your on-off cruise control up here in the upper right, which you can just turn on and off. And something really cool that many of these S-Classes feature, in addition to just a traditional cruise control, is an adaptive cruise control, which is all radar-based. So this car actually can set a distance in addition to setting a speed. Bottom right's kind of like how it always was with the volume control, Bluetooth control, uh, voice activation settings. But the top corners do something a little cooler. So up in the top corners, we can actually go and control with two individualized touchpads everything on either display. Now on the left side, it's going to feature everything from your trip settings. So if you want to pull up a real-time digital speedometer, odometer, uh, range settings, things like that, you can do so. You can also pull up things like navigation settings, etc., all right here from the wheel. But you can do a little more than just that. So in addition, this car actually features some new designs. And what I mean by that is if I go over here on my options to the designs menu, I can actually adjust the styling and the aesthetics of everything on here. So right now we're in what's called classic. Uh, if I want to maybe change it up a little, I'll go down to the pro progressive option down here. Uh, you'll notice progressive changed a whole bunch of things here. So progressive just adjusted, uh, put the tachometer in the center, put the speedometer in the middle of that. Um, it's currently showing me like real-time g-force acting on the car, how much torque I'm using. Pretty slick. And if I want, I can even throw it in a sport here. And over on sport, check that out. It just made all the gauges all sort of uh, red and yellow. Gives a little bit more of a sportier appearance to it. What's really cool is actually right now I'm using my cruise control. I'm not using the uh, distance at the moment, just using the general cruise, but my steering wheel, my car is actually driving for me and steering for me at the moment. So at the moment I just have my feet near the pedals, my hands near the steering wheel. Um, now if I stay off the steering wheel for too long, this car is going to warn me that, hey, your hands are off the wheel. So it's still good to have your hands on the wheel or at least very close to it just in case, but just kind of a cool aid. Now you still have full driver control. So if you want, you can always take over. You can do what you want with it. But it's just kind of there to help. It's reading the lines on the road using stereo cameras. And it can actually see what's going on. I got a couple cars moving around. Here we go. I got somebody that just pulled in front of me here. Perfect. So what's really nice is I can actually just set a distance here. And this is going to help engage my distance from the car in front of me. There we go. I got my speed set. Got my steering assist. How cool is that? It was actually just pulling me back into the lane right there. Pretty slick. And then I can even set my distance. And now the car is kind of driving for me. This is pretty slick. I mean, how cool is that? Now, if the car moves over, it can go by the next car or it can kind of ask you what you want to do. So, like right now, I'm going to put the signal on. And actually, if you think you're seeing something you're not, uh, this Mercedes actually just changed lanes by itself. Really slick. This is the first passenger car to be able to do that. This in our E-Class, actually. This car is really the future in a lot of ways. Uh, the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, always been our flagship automobile, and really no different at all with this car. From the handling of the vehicle, I mean, it's flawless. You can just duck into a turn. You can you can drive it quick and sporty if you want, but when you when you want to back off it a little, it's just a relaxed, quiet ride. I mean, right now we're we're on a highway going, you know, 60 mile an hour and there's no noise. I mean, it's exceptionally quiet. It's really soft. 
but yet you have a ton of power. Now, under your advanced light settings, under ambient light, you'll notice some new options. So we don't just have a, co a color wheel anymore with the option to set a brightness. There are multicolor effects if you want it to toggle through. There are animation effects when you enter the cabin and it'll do a little run through, kind of a little bit of a rainbow effect for you. Um, something I really like, which is pretty slick, is the new climate feature. Um, no matter what lights you have in the cabin, if you in your zone, so your quadrant of the car, whether you're in the back seat or the front seat, want to raise or lower the temperature or adjust the heated and ventilated seat, you'll actually see the lights play along. So if you heat up your side, you'll see the lights go red. If you cool down your side, you'll see the lights go blue. Um, so it's actually kind of using the lighting to even tell you what's going on in the car. You'll notice too there's some new color schemes. So not only now can you select between all the colors, but you actually have these schemes you can choose between. You, you'll see several of them here. Uh, purple sky, fire red, jungle green, all sorts of really cool options here. You can even adjust the brightness on a scale of 1 to 100 between the display, the front, and the right all electronically. So you were always able to do all of your temperature adjusts and blower adjusts and direction of airflow right here from the center. Still able to do so on the 18S class. However, in the electronic options, you'll see several new features. When you go to climate mode, you will notice that for the driver and the passenger side, you can decide what sort of airflow that you receive. There is the medium option, which was what, what was always chosen before, but there's now an option for focused airflow and a diffuse option. Additionally, you'll see some settings in here for your air freshener, which is built into the car. You'll see air ionization, which will actually help to clean the air for you, give you better air quality as you're driving. And something pretty slick too, there's, there's some new air distribution options. So you can go in, you can adjust electronically where the air is flowing through the cabin. You can even go as far as to customize how much cooler or how much warmer your footwell is compared to the rest of the cabin. You'll be hard pressed to find another car with this many options. Of course, advanced seat settings remain. Several new adjustment features let you go in and even customize the heating balance of your seat. If you like it equal, leave it alone. If you want to maybe push your heat a little bit more to the seat or push it a little bit more to the backrest, you can do so very, very easily. Individual side bolster controls can customize how much the seat hugs around you. Individual shoulder controls, lumbar controls, you can really get a custom fit across the board on how this car is positioned. Some great racing tech right here is the dynamic seating where the seat will actually move with you around bends. You can toggle it on and off for driver and passenger side as well in addition to, of course, the massage settings. Something that was a great innovation on our E-Class whenever redesigned was our new parking pilot system. Something that you'll see with the uh, advanced parking assist on the 2018 S-Class is it's going to use a series of radar sensors 360 degrees around the car to kind of help you park. And I'll let the car park for me. So it just saw a spot over here. Uh, once it sees the spot, I can just sort of tell it OK over here. Now something really neat too is it even shows you this little picture and it asks you, do you want to pull in or do you want to back in? So I'm going to tell it right now I want to back in. Engage the reverse gear. And I'm going to actually let the car park for me. Now once again, this is a semi-autonomous aid. It is doing the pedals for me. It is changing gear. It is doing the steering wheel. Keep in mind though, this is semi-autonomous. So it's still good to stick close to your steering wheel, stick close to your pedals. But what's nice is with the 360 degree camera, the sensors, it's pretty easy to kind of watch the car do most of this for you. And right now it's just straightening up. So it pulled us into the spot. It sees it's a little bit closer to one car than it is to the other. So right now the vehicle actually just put itself in drive. It's straightening itself up just like a human would, would obviously do. And it's positioning itself a little bit more centered in the spot. So this is a very, very advanced parking aid. And look at that. It is doing a great job. 
Now you can take over at any point. So if I see that, you know, hey, I think I got it from here, I can always take over and just to show you, for example, engage whatever gear I want. If I want to make any final adjustments, if I want to move it up a little bit more, a little bit more back. And that car just parked all by itself. Now when it's time to leave, you can actually use the parking aid to leave as well. So when it's time to go, you can put the car in drive and press the parking assist button again. It remembers that it parked you and how it parked you. And it comes up on the screen here and says, do you want to leave to the left or leave to the right? So I'm going to tell it I want to leave to the left and I'm going to let it pull me out. Now, obviously, once it pulls you out, this is where you're going to have to take control. Um, a way that Mercedes does this audibly is with a little bit of a chime, and the way they do it visually is with these green icons. So when you see the green, that's how you know the car is still doing stuff for you. See how it just went yellow? It tells me to, take, to put my hands on the wheel. So this is the car's way of saying, I'm all done now. Now it's time for you to drive. Lots of really great comfort features uh, just to make the interior of the cabin feel that much nicer. Um, you'll find across the board on all of your seats uh, controls for heat and for ventilation. Um, actually, an additional control on the driver's side allows you to operate the passenger seat. So if you're moving the seat back for somebody to get in the vehicle with you, you can actually operate this far switch here um, and actually adjust the passenger seat using your, your driver's seat controls, which is pretty cool. You'll find three position memory across the board. On the driver's seat, it'll control your seat, your steering wheel, and your side mirrors, so it memorizes everything plus some really cool stuff where you have this nice pano sunroof. Um, gives you a lot of space to look out, not only for those in the front, but for those in the back. Um, there's actually, it's sort of like a dual pane. It's a full glass sunroof. So you have a lot of space. It's like what you'd see on some full-size SUVs, but really cool to have it on a car. Vanity mirrors for those in the back seat as well as those in the front, as well as many seat controls. Um, this particular one actually even features the memory seating for those in the back of the car as well, which is pretty neat. You'll see sunshades across the board. So you have sunshades for your roof where you can actually open and close all of these shades in addition to open and closing the roof itself, as well as sort of privacy shades for those in the back where actually you can control those as well. So I have a rear shade, which I can open and close, as well as side shades, which can be opened and closed using the rear window controls. So just lots of slick ways to adjust based on the amount of sunlight you want in the cabin across the board. I mean, there's a big difference between opening all the shades and closing all the shades. Now, Dynamic Select still exists on the S class. You'll find that if you adjust up the control here, you have four driver selectable options. You can still go in and customize how it feels for you, or you can switch it to a sportier or a comfort setting. Switch it over to sport once just to show the difference in the acceleration. And really instant. I mean, you have a lot of acceleration and comfort, but holy cow, you switch over to sport and it's that much more. I mean, very easy to get up and go with this car. And still really quiet in every one of the settings, too. Some vehicles, you adjust how the car drives and you notice a big difference with the sound right away, but you, you really don't notice that at all in the S-Class. The new transmission is awesome in the new S-Class. This is featuring our new 9G Tronic transmission. It's exceptionally smooth. You don't get any type of feedback or drop during the shift. You can actually even go in and kind of customize your uh, shift parameters a little in that individual setting. So if you go to that individual option that I mentioned, uh, you'll actually find you can go in and do some customizing on the drive, the suspension, the steering, etc. So if you want a stiffer s suspension, if you want a stiffer steering, if you want to adjust how the car shifts, notice I got an economy setting, a comfort setting, a sport, and even a manual option. That manual is really great if you want to activate the uh, paddle shifters here behind the steering wheel. The S-Class has always been Mercedes flagship and a lot of it stems from where everything begins. So we start everything with the S-Class essentially. A lot of our technology, a lot of our advanced safety features, a lot of our advanced performance features have all started here. Um, and with that, and I think with just uh, sort of the stance of this car and the size of this car, there's just a little bit of a different prestige element to uh, driving an S-Class. 
you know, you, you really get a lot of great luxury with everything that Mercedes-Benz has to offer, but the S-Class is really meant to be the pinnacle. This is a vehicle that not only leads the way for Mercedes-Benz when it comes to uh, just driving and luxury, but really leads the entire auto industry. This is a car that many manufacturers for years and years um, have tried to achieve the level of technology, the level of performance, the level of luxurious driving that the S-Class provides to, to its, its drivers. Every S-Class features a four-year, 50,000-mile comprehensive Mercedes-Benz warranty. That'll cover all your, all your comprehensive electronics, mechanical stuff, all the moving parts. Um, it's basically everything that's, that's powertrain, um, all under your manufacturer coverage. Uh, you also, too, have your 24-7 roadside assistance. Uh, these, these also, too, over at Smail, we take care of uh, pickup and delivery for you, which is pretty nice. So anytime your car is getting serviced, we'll actually come to you, pick up the car, um, give you a brand new Mercedes service loaner while your car is in the shop. You get nitrogen in your tires. We have a nitro fill system where all four tires will actually uh, have nitrogen in place of traditional hydrogen and oxygen to improve your tire life the uh, ride quality as well as not having to worry about um, air being released from your tire as quickly. First application of our Auto Butler paint protection service is also included on every S-Class. Um, just really keeps it looking nice for you. Helps to protect against a lot of um, sort of outside um, damaging elements. Now before we go there's one other feature that you have to check out. First car of its kind to have anything like this. This is Energizing Comfort Control, a new system from Mercedes-Benz which is meant to sort of engage all the senses. Something that Mercedes-Benz has been developing for some time now is not just the autonomous end of uh, sort of the future of driving, but Mercedes also is going after a full sensory experience. Um, so whether you're behind the wheel or you're just riding along, um, energizing comfort control is meant to totally change uh, the experience of driving. So this is actually something which can be sort of tuned to whatever mood you're in or whatever mood that you want to be in. And what I mean by that is you actually have several uh, what, what, what Mercedes references as uh, comfort settings um, here with the refresh, warmth, vitality, enjoyment, and well-being as well as three individualized training modes. Um, now any of these can be engaged, as well as any other comfort settings, can be engaged while driving. If you engage it while driving, it will just use the audio cues, the lighting changes, the changes to the, the um, air balance system, um, and all, uh, all the auditory stuff um, until you come to a stop. If you come to a stop at a red light, at a stop sign, uh, you, you, just, you just come to park, it'll pop up the visual momentarily until you, until you get moving again. Now, the reason why we wanted to show this at a standstill is because you can actually see everything the program has to off when you're stationary. So, at a standstill, if you go in here to the Energizing Comfort, you'll notice I'm getting all the visual cues already. So, for example, we have a refresh setting. Refresh is going to do some adjustments here in terms of some of the stuff with the uh, ventilated seats, some of the um, blue lamp, design here blue and purple it even affects the the music actually so i turned it up there just for a moment but the music can actually even be affected by the energizing comfort control so this is a refresh program we got ventilated seats on in the back in the front lighting setting adjusts and even audio adjusts based on that you can go in and you can actually customize this across the board so we can go to a program like the vitality and when we choose that program we'll notice all the lights go to sort of a purple and amber we end up but more of an up-tempo uh, song choice. Now, Vitality does more with lights, with audio, with the air balance, but less with the seats. So this just left the ventilated seats on. If I wanted to change that again, let's say I wanted to go to the warmth program, this now turns the ventilation seats off, turns the heated seats on, turns it back to my general radio settings here, and now I have heated seats on, heated steering wheel, everything, just all clicked on. Uh, if I want to change it again to, let's say, like the enjoyment program, this is going to give me a little bit of a different light setting yet. Once again, different audio setting, different air balance setting. I mean, this is all just one click and totally change how the whole car feels. It's 
really, really slick. If you click on the training option, you'll notice three individualized training options. Muscle stimulation, muscle relaxation, and balance. You can select any of these three once again while moving or while stationary. And what's great about being stationary is you get the visual aid. So let's pick one just to see what it looks like here. Let's say I select the muscle stimulation and I'll let the car walk us through it. Start with shoulder movements. Move your right shoulder far back in circles. Your motion is restricted due to the fact that your hand is on the steering wheel. Keep your hand steady on the steering wheel. So you'll notice that the car actually is walking you through basically an exercise program while you're still maintaining focus on the road. Really cool. It's really, really cool to see how the Energizing Comfort Control will be able to um, sort of further adapt the all-around sensory driving experience. Um, Mercedes is, is really wanting it to just be a, a different type of emotional experience also driving. And by having the autonomous features that we have and having the features that we have here, um, the all-new 2018 S-Class, it's not just driving, but it's the future of driving. That was our ride along in the all new 2018 S-Class. Hope that you enjoyed it. Hope that you got a lot of great info. Um, definitely stop by our showroom here in Greensburg, see one of these vehicles in person, or visit us online at smailmercedesbenz.com.